and welcome to the Everett Silver Show. We have exciting guests as we do every week. And so I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm always bringing it to you. So thanks so much for staying in tune with us. Stay connected. You're watching the Everett Silver Show. Growing up in Sevier County was kind of like uh, Mayberry, I guess you would call it. Then methamphetamine hit this area. Everything started to change. I've watched addiction take over our community like wildfire. Get on the ground. I got some meth. There's a gun in here, too. Tiffany's going on the same calls to the same families with the same problems over and over and over. What we were doing wasn't working. We had to do something different. We started a 90-day substance abuse treatment program in the jail. Once you've completed the program, you walk out the door, you're basically a free person. But if they don't complete our program, they go to prison. Family might not see me for a long time. Right now, I'm looking at 70 years. I just hope and pray that Cameron gets this opportunity. You here to get to the root of your addictions. I don't care who you are, I've really had enough. We're trying to teach them how to control, and that, that's what makes it so tough. We're talking about anger unmanaged. I'm ready to stomp on her face, man. This is my classroom. You go by my rules. They're really digging in, and they're opening up those wounds. Every time I put a needle in my arm, it just broke my heart. That's what they saw their mama do. Right now, I hate myself for that. I want this to be a change for me this time. I want to change. It's hard work, and I mean hard work. I got a lot to lose. With one wrong move, it could be the end. Basically, what you're saying is send me to prison. Do you want to go to prison? It's going to be hard, and every day it's going to get harder. But that little boy is worth it. Hello, Everett. Chris, thank you so much for doing the show today. Excited to have you. Well, folks, I have my special guest, uh, Chris Wilcock, uh, the program Prison Detox. And so, you know, kind of facing some of the uh, worst drug epidemic in our history. One small town kind of, you know, offers redemption, though, to people in depth uh, of this addiction. So, Chris, with that being said, uh, let's talk about, because uh, you, you have uh, some background and just um, being from, I guess, the area, is my understanding is. So you think looking at that, you're trying to just see what you've done and to be incorporating some redemption for your community? Well, I've got 20 years of law enforcement right here in, in the county that I grew up in. And yeah. when I sat in the sheriff's office one one day, he grew up in the area also. We realized what we've been doing in our law enforcement career for the last 20 years wasn't working. We need to do something okay. different. So we started getting our community and our faith-based community involved in our jail. And here we are four years later with a program that we're very proud of. And our program consists of a 90-day incarceration portion that our inmates get substance, ed substance abuse education and other life skills. And if they complete that portion, they go into nine months of aftercare where they still com com uh, meet with our drug counselors and they meet with uh, other mental health officials and they do random drug tests, mandatory meetings. If they complete that nine months of aftercare, then their prison sentence is deferred and they don't go to prison. Now, that's got to be something. Now, I, I was reading something because, uh, you, know, you know, it's a very emotional journey, I'm sure, with these inmates. But I have a question. Why, why are they called trustees? Talk about that term for a moment. The reason they're called trustees is because they are housed in their own pod and they have mm -hmm. a little more freedom inside the jail to where they're allowed to carry out trash. They're allowed to go outside the housing unit 
wash patrol cars, mow the grass around the jail. They have a little less supervision than what the uh, general population inmate has got. That's how they, that's why they're labeled trustees. Now, Chris, with that being said, and again, I applaud you just uh, for being the co-creator and some of the things that you're doing in that community. Well, the number of this, the stat that jumps out at me the most, 72% uh, success rate turnaround, is that's great. We, we have a 72% success rate on the yearly program. And right now we're running an 18% recidivism rate after four years, which really just kind of blows our mind too, because that's an extremely, extremely good number. The only number we can't capture right now is progress because even the individuals who return to jail that don't finish our program, they, they've learned a lot and they come back into jail and talk about how they know what they have to do to change their life, reunite with their families, and they're going to go on to prison and they're going to come back and they're going to become productive citizens. So we're really seeing an impact of this program on our community. They, uh, one of our universities, our local colleges, they just got done doing a, a survey and we're running the 85 percent uh, support in our in our community, in our county right now for what we're doing inside our jail. You know, one of the one of the most rewarding things you got to say, Chris, is seeing the uh, just uh, so when you think in terms of the history of addiction, but to the desire to repair relationships with loved ones, isn't that just so critical? Yes, that, helping people is addictive in itself, and you know, I had a young lady tell me when she came into our program that she had been told from the time she was thirteen, she's thirty three, and she had been told from the time that she was twelve, thirteen years old. That she, was, that she was worthless and she'd never be worth anything. And if you tell an individual long enough that they're worthless and they're a piece of trash, they believe that. So a lot of these individuals, they, they're they hearing for the first time that somebody cares about them and that they believe in them. And for them, that's very emotional. And a lot of times that's all it takes for them to start trying to turn their life around and, and make a difference. Chris, I got to applaud you being a native from the county and then because uh, your career started, as you said, parole deputy, and then you've gone to the K-9, but you've been specializing in drug-related offenses. Uh, I, I give you because, folks, you got to know this this show and, again, the program prison uh, detox, it, you know, it first premiered uh, uh, August the 25th, but on Discovery Plus, but you got to stay tuned. And with that being said, uh, Chris, uh, what better gratification, though, to see that you, you've been homebred from there and wanting to see your own community turn around? Is that gratifying to you? Oh, yes, very gratifying. But, I, but I'm going to tell you, it, every, every place in the United States, every place in the country can be Sevier County, Arkansas, because every place in the country has got a community that cares about itself if given the opportunity. So I think any place can do what we're doing here if given the opportunity. Guys, again, the program Prison Detox, make sure you catch it on Discovery Plus. Uh, I have uh, Chris Wolcock has been a special guest with us. I tell you, the co-creator uh, of a revolutionary program that really has been helping kind of repeat drug offenders, turn their lives around. And I tell you, what what a wonderful story this is. And, and I'm going to be watching. Chris, thanks for doing the show. Thank you. Well, guys, uh, thanks so much for tuning into the Everett Silver Show. Stay tuned. Don't turn that dial because we got more exciting guests right here on the Everett Silver Show. Be back. This season on Teen Mom, Young and Pregnant. Did you go pee pee? You might have gone pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like that we're going to eventually get back together. I met a guy that genuinely cares about me. She said, no, no. <laughs> we had a lot of judgment of us being together. I just think it's in Isaiah's best interest if you were legally his father. That label that say dad, that's mine. Hey, dad. Hey, mom. My pronouns is very important because I can't have my daughter confused in no kind of way. Look, I can't always hold your hand. I'm 17. I still need help. You are not ready to move out. You're not ready. I'm the adult and I should live on my own by now. Are you taking your IUD out? It's none of your business. You don't need another baby right now, Ray. I mean, in the past, Luke's just not very faithful. So do you feel like you need to go out and do something too? I gave you the benefit of the out. Every single time you cheated on me, every single time you lied to me. That does the people, Christian. Out of nowhere, I find out that you were out kicking it with him. I'm not happy in any way. I completely lost myself. 
I'm sorry. I haven't changed my Are you serious? Get back together. I have to know. All right. No. That's all you had to say. I'm doing perfectly fine. I got food in my stomach, a roof over my head. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. I got two cars in the driveway, a house, your kid. This whole damn transition, I ain't changed that one bit. For me, it felt like a funeral. It felt like I'm getting ready to lose my kid. If you walk away, that means you don't give a Did you guys physically hook up? Yeah, I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> That's between me and Luke. That's <laughs> between me and all the way back. So I'm pregnant again. Hi. Hi, Kayla. Hi. Hi, Kayla. Kaya. Kaya, how y'all doing? Good. Good. Hi. How are you? All right, doing great. Listen, glad to have you. Folks, my guest is with us. Uh, Team Mom, Young and Pregnant returns uh, for a new season on MTV. And I have the wonderful stars, uh, a few of them, I should say. Kayla and Kaya is with us. And Kayla, I'll start with you there. So many things when you think in terms of what's going on, but... Uh, first question I would ask you, Kayla, though, is about our emotional roller coasters going on. What was it, first of all, like being a, a mom? I mean, being a mom is emotional roller coaster in itself. You know, some days are good, some days are better than others, some are worse. And then being on TV just heightens everything. You have eyes on you at all times. I wonder sometimes, do Kayla, you feel as though <clears throat> opening up then when you say that to the world to your your life how does that bring about stress does it bring about any anxiety or, or what, how does that feel make you feel yeah i mean it is stressful sometimes putting everything out there for people to judge you everyone's going to say something no matter what you do what decision you make someone's going to have something bad to say but even though it's challenging right. i just think it's important so other you know teenagers don't even have to be moms i feel like they can relate to a lot of the stuff that we go through Absolutely. Now, Kaya, with that being said, relationships uh, you know, are hard as it is. Uh, I know you and the love of your life, you kind of experienced some things, even some cheating going on. How How is that in this season that we find out make, make you feel? Um. Well, everybody's seen everything go down last season, you know, the breakup and everything. Uh, like I said, um, I am working on myself this season, all aspects of myself, even the relationship, it is complicated. Uh, you guys are going to have to watch, tune in to see what goes down between me and Tiaza this season, but she will be a part of it. She is still in my life, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, I didn't want to give too much away. You know, we got to keep some for suspense, but now, with that being said, though, um, you know, uh, now, now, though, something else happens, and now I know uh, you, you have I guess uh, just to kind of adjust some things, I think grandma is now coming to the scene, right, or trying to see what to do with kind of helping parents excited about that. How do you feel about, you know, grandma coming and uh, trying to be a part of the act? Um, you guys will definitely see us interact uh, this season. Um, I, you know, you guys pretty much know how I felt about her as of last season. Right, right. You're going to have to tune right. in to see how everything progress right now now kayla uh you you've kind of trying to move on uh you've you 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 you've got this new chapter in your life i think now you're you're going to be dating a college player how does that, that add some added dimensions to what is going on in your life or what you're looking for in the future i mean yeah dating a college athlete has been different you know, he gets a lot of attention at school and stuff. And then with him being on TV, I feel like, you know, has caused us to be put in some difficult situations. But, you know, I want the best for him. And I hope that he gets his degree and finishes what he starts. Well, there you go. And then, uh, Kaya, when you think in terms of love, does you find, I know, when you look at things you were talking about, You we all work on ourselves or need to work on ourselves in some aspect, but... Love has a tendency to find a way to kind of bring us even closer to what's been important to us, correct? Yes. Um, so, so I you, feel like... Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to let you finish. Um, I, I feel like love uh, is complicated and it's not, really, it's not really anything that I can say that's going to put like a definite, like, you know, like... Yes or no in the status of everything or whatever, but 
I feel like it is complicated and it does it can either help me find myself or help me lose myself but I guess y'all just gonna have to watch to see in which direction it takes me <laughs> and guys most of you got to realize team mom uh, young and pregnant premieres uh, I believe this Tuesday September the 7th uh, at 9 p.m. on MTV and I give you both an opportunity uh, and, and Kayla I start with you uh, uh, what you want the uh, I guess the viewers to look at it what they might can expect you know from uh, what we're about to see starting preseason yeah, I mean, it's a lot this season. It's honestly a mess. There's baby daddy drama for both of them, paternity tests, right. eating, right. unexpected pregnancy. It's just a lot this season. And then, uh, Kaya, uh, any last minute things you want to see to help invite the folks out? To, because I'm telling you, what what I love about this show is real. It talks about real life things. So what do you want to last say to our audience? Um, I think everybody should definitely tune in. Um, you can expect a lot of self work from my aspect. I opened up, up I opened up about the loss of my father. Um, you see right. some interaction between me and my baby's father's mom. You might even mm -hmm. hear from my baby father. You know, it's a lot. I feel like we have a lot to bring this season. We got two new girls. I feel like everybody's story goes perfectly with each other and it's a lot going on, so everybody should just tune in. Well, guys, I thank you for so much for doing the show again. Kayla and Kaya has been with us. Teen Mom, Young and Pregnant premieres again Tuesday, September the 7th at 9 p.m. on MTV. Thank you, Kayla and Kaya, for doing the show. Thank you. Thank for you for having us. You're so welcome. Bye -bye. More guests coming your way. Don't touch that dial. I'll be back in a moment. Hi, Everett. Hi, Joanne. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Oh, it's always good to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, folks, uh, life been an ex editor and expert. I tell you, Joanne Butler's been with us. So, Joanne, I'm going to just let you take it away. Okay. Well, we're talking back to school, back to work, back to fall, and let's start with a good hair day. You know, after summer spent at the beach, pooling in the sun, your hair might be feeling, you know, the effects of summer, you know, really dry. So I like to give mine a boost with herbal essences. It's just my go-to. It really hydrates and nourishes and makes your hair noticeably healthy and soft. You can feel it right away. There's a collection for everyone, no matter your hair type or texture. One of my favorites is their Mango and Potent Aloe. It's amazing for curly hair. And the collection has a curl cream, too, that actually boosts shine and defines each curl and keeps them for longer. So it's amazing. And these have real aloe that's been certified by the plant experts at the Royal Botanic Gardens Q. The entire lineup is PETA certified, cruelty free, sulfate free, and just all of their products ever just smell amazing. And you can pretty much find herbal essences everywhere, so that's great. Next up, back to school must-haves. We hit Staples Connect and found all this amazing stuff. They just have everything you need, backpacks, binders, notebooks, pens, really great deals on all of it. Tie-dye is the thing right now, and these alligator prints are just so cute. These are from L.L. Bean. Um, and they have J-Lab Buddies headphones, which are all the buzz right now for the little ones. Great tech essentials, you know, laptops, monitors, just you name it. Plus, same-day delivery through Instacart, even free delivery options, which is really nice. They also have a rewards program for teachers through September 30th. If they register on the Staples Connect app, they'll have a chance to get 20% back on their buys, plus 20% off some things in store, so that's really nice. Uh, now, before the kids head out the door, you know, multivitamins are always key. And my kids have been taking Flintstone multivitamins every morning for years. They're the number one pediatrician recommended children's chewable brand um, and they've come out with these super cool Flintstone super beans they're shaped like a cute bean and just a fun you know new way to give your kiddos a multivitamin immunity support they're packed with vitamins A, B, C and E um, and they have no high fructose corn syrup or artificial sweeteners flavors or colors which are nice you know so you can feel good about giving them to, to your kids my kids just love them they're yummy fruity flavor you can get them right at Target now, of course, addressing any vision problems is also something you should think about before you send your child back to school, but glasses might not always be their first choice. In fact, nearly four out of five teens say they prefer contact lenses over glasses. Um, they're great too if your child plays sports, so check with your eye doctor to see if lenses are right for your kids. A great first choice for first-time wearers I recommend, uh, BioTrue One Day by Bausch & Lomb. 
I like these because they're easy. You don't have to clean or store them. They're just disposable. So you pop on a new pair each day um, and they're full of moisture so they're comfortable. And bonus, they're eco-friendly. Uh, they have the first and only contact lens recycling program in the country. It's called One by One. Uh, just have your team save their used lenses in the blister packs they come in. Take them to a one by one participating eye doctor to be recycled. So easy as that. BioTrueOneDayLenses.com uh, to check those out. And there you have it. Those are my must-haves for right now. Always a pleasure to have Joy and Butler, lifestyle editor and expert. Uh, where we need to go for further information, Joy? Uh, check out LifeMinute.tv for more info on all the stuff and even more. LifeMinute.tv is where you want to go, Joy and Butler. Thanks so much. Thanks, everyone. More guests coming your way. Don't touch that dial. I'll be back in a moment. Hello, Everett. How are you today? Hi, Trisha. Thanks for doing the show today. Thank you for having me. Well, folks, my special guest, Trisha Hersberg, is here with us. We've got to talk about back to school. And, uh, Trisha, with that being said, I know we, we back seem like this pandemic is kind of involved with some things. But talk about the, uh, I guess, what parents and how we build a relationship back with the kids. And uh, let, where do we start with this? Yeah, so when it comes to back to school, I feel like we're all trying to eke out those last precious moments of summer. So why not make the most of it by letting the iRobot Roomba i3 Plus robot vacuum clean up the mess at home? Thanks to iRobot Genius Software, the Roomba i3 Plus gets smarter over time, offering personalized cleaning schedules and helpful suggestions, and it features a patented dual rubber brush design to pull in dirt and pet hair across hard floors and carpet. And for those that have pets, the robot's high efficiency filter traps 99% of cat and dog allergens as well. And my favorite part, it even empties itself when it's done cleaning. So it doesn't get much easier than that. And now I'm talking directly to the college students who might be living in dorms this year and might not have time to vacuum. This could be perfect for you. And because it pairs with voice assistance, cleaning up a mess is now just as easy as using your voice. So whether you're a parent looking to make the most out of the last moments of summer or a college-bound student who is not going to have time to vacuum, the Roomba i3 Plus has you covered. Now, um, Trisha, talk about the tools that students may be using that you find them using now. Do you like? So for in-classroom use, one of the items that I'm seeing getting so much buzz right now is the Kodak Luma 400 Portable HD Smart Projector. This is particularly fantastic for in-class or, uh, or outside of class, even presentations. It's pocket-sized, so it's equipped with 1280 by 720p native resolution, supporting up to 4K, allowing you to project on a screen up to 150 inches. So whether they're indoor or outdoor classroom use cases, you're covered. It comes with a tripod, so it's easy to set up the projector anywhere you'd like. And it even has Android 9.0 smart operating system. So you can stream from your favorite apps when you're done with all that homework. It's great for all. Speaking of great for all, another service I see being talked about a lot this year for back to school is Slack, which is funny to me because I always think about Slack for office or corporate use cases. But right now, over 3,000 higher education institutions are turning to Slack to keep classes and campus affairs running online. Slack is really easy because it integrates with the tools that students and faculty already know how to use from video conferencing and file sharing to learning management systems and more. And with all of these resources and communication in one place, Slack can keep students engaged and connected even in times when everyone's remote or you're dealing with a hybrid learning situation. I've seen students be able to ask questions and stay informed with class or project based specific Slack channels or even professors keeping the conversation going with online office hours and virtual presentations. And so Slack's really been quite the destination for a lot of back to school learning. Trisha, teaching kids about money, what is that out there in place for that? Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up. I mean, one of the things I feel like I didn't get enough education on personally in school and that a lot of schools just don't teach is personal finances. And so there is an awesome service out there called Greenlight, which is a family finance company that's on a mission to help parents teach kids about money and raise financially smart kids. So they've got a debit card and an app designed just for kids and teens to learn to earn, save, spend wisely, and invest. And parents can even automate allowance, manage chores, and 
really empower their kids to become investors and set them on the path to financial independence. I feel like this is a, a type of learning we can all benefit from at any age, from middle school on up and with plans starting at just $4.99. I think we can all agree that's a pretty wise investment for the whole family. It really is. And uh, so much vital information, Tricia. Tell us where we go for further information because this stuff is vital. If anyone has any questions or wants to know more about any of the products or services I've mentioned today, you can find that on dailylounge.com. Trisha Hersberger, dailylounge.com is where you want to go. Trisha, what a wonderful privilege to have on the show. Thanks for doing it. Thank you so much for having me, Everett. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Every 